Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me. Today we're going to take a look at a new camera from Foscam. This is the Foscam HD Wireless IP Camera Model C1. Before we actually do the unboxing and go over the product, let's take a look at some of the features. Uh, first of all, uh, one of the things that Foscam has been working on for years and has really done a nice job at is improving the setup process. So really uh, setting up the, the actual process for this camera takes three easy steps and it even uses uh, QR code. We're going to see that process as we do the unboxing and the actual setup. Uh, taking a look at the actual features, let's get a little close here. Uh, what you have is an HD camera uh, capable of uh, recording uh, 720p wide angle and you'll notice that the wide angle there is up to 115 degrees you have two-way audio so that you can not only hear but you can also communicate through the camera uh, it's wireless which means all you have to do is worry about power and you don't have to run any cables you have night vision and it has up to eight meters it's going to be able to see things at night with the uh, inner infrared sensors that are really going to help with that um, motion detection it does support an onboard external um, card slot so you can put a micro SD there for storage and also um, it's just very simple to set up and we're going to see that and they also provide a cloud service and there's a mobile app to use the solution so what we're going to do is actually take a look at this product do an unboxing and see what the setup is all about inside the box you'll have your camera um, some miscellaneous information about uh, the Foscam services a user guide a installation CD for your um, either your, your PC or Mac. Uh, you also then have here a long micro USB charging cable that's used to connect the Foscam to actually the charging brick. And then what you have here is also some mounting screws, so if you want to mount it on a wall. So now taking a closer look at the camera. Uh, the camera itself is made out of a lightweight plastic material. It has a couple um, here areas that will bend and give you some flexibility. Uh, it does not squivel left to right. It just adjusts top as I showed you right here with these two points. The camera also has a mounting screws here at the bottom uh, that, that work with the actual screws that we've um, shown in the unboxing. And on the front you have a series of sensors. Uh, starting at the very bottom you're going to have your power light, you're going to have your network light, you're going to have also a uh, your micro SD slot right here. Let's, let's zoom into that so you can see that really good. So there you see your micro SD slot. Uh, you also then have your, um, like I mentioned, your network light, infrared, and then also your PIR here. So all these supporting um, all the night vision motion and everything that the camera uh, facilitates. On the back here, you have two buttons, one for uh, WPS and reset and one for soft AP. And then also what you have there is your charging cable. So you can see that right there. On the opposite side, I'll bring this up, you do have your... Um, Ethernet cable if you want to do a hardwire Ethernet connection as well. Now on the back, um, it does have some information like your MAC address. Um, it has also a QR code that you can use to actually uh, pair or actually find your camera when you're installing the software. So uh, again, pretty straightforward. Uh, really, uh, when it comes to the camera, um, very simple, as you can see, based on all the connectivity points that it has and also some of the flexibility that you have from a mounting perspective. So to add the camera to the actual uh, to the actual Foscam account and actually start using it, one of the things that you'll need is to have a pre-registered account. Um, so I'd advise you to go to Foscam's website, create an account, and then you could use your phone to simply add the camera to the actual uh, account without having to go through um, significant configuration. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Add. The next step you'll notice here is that we are to scan the QR code that's in the back of the camera. And then what you'll see is uh, the actual scanning taking place. So I'm going to point this at the actual back of the cam of the actual Foscam camera to actually register the actual um, camera with the Foscam account. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to flip it over, find it, put it this way. All right. And right now it has um, all the information already connected. Now that I've actually scanned the QR code, all I have to do is put in my uh, password for my Wi-Fi, and then we'll get started. Now, once you've um, connected the camera to the Wi-Fi um, or put in your Wi-Fi password, it's going to go through the setup process. We'll just wait for it to complete, and then we'll check out the camera. So now that the actual um, configuration of the camera has taken place with my wireless network, uh, you'll notice that the camera itself or the actual 
phone itself updated showing an initial view of what the camera's seeing on my on my desk here. Uh, before I can actually start seeing what's going on in the camera, I'm going to have to go through some configuration, further configuration, establishing a username and a password to the camera. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll uh, continue the demonstration. So now that we've installed the camera, updated it, and registered it online and also with the FOSCAM app, uh, what I wanted to do is kind of give you a walkthrough through the application itself that is available from FOSCAM. And the one thing I wanted to make sure that you're aware of is that you can use third-party IP camera software if you find that there are features that you're looking for that are not available with the uh, FOSCAM software. So that's a great thing of happening. It's very open when it comes to the use of other applications. Uh, so looking here, what you first have is your camera, and it's kind of like in a thumbnail view, and that thumbnail is just showing you what it saw last. And down here you have your cameras. I will bring that a little bit up so you can see that and bring that in focus. So you have your cameras, public cameras, and then you can go into your account settings. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the actual camera itself. And I have the camera in my living room, and I did show you what the camera looks like. Um, taken from a normal camera. So I'm going to pause for a second and just show you that clip. So the first thing I wanted to do is give you a, a sample of what a normal video shot would look like in the room. Um, as you can tell there's not a lot of lighting in the room so what we'll do now is we'll switch over to the camera to see the difference between you know just a standard camera and then the actual uh, FOSCAM camera. Now that you saw the clip of what I actually see in the room and how dark the room is, I thought it was important that you see that because the camera does do a decent job, and this is not with night viewing capability, of bringing out the light in the room. So as you can see here, this is my living room, and I'm going to flip this over so that we can get a wider view. And you saw um, how dark that room was. Again, n there are really many any uh, sources of light. None of the lights are on. Um, you do have some light coming from these areas here, from the blinds. But it's really doing a good job at bringing out the, the actual room's um, uh, detail without any real light source outside of the, the little light that's coming through the window. So I really like that and I wanted to highlight that. Now, you do have some abilities here. And you'll see in this menu on the bottom, you do have the ability to, you know, uh, in this case, um, listen and talk through the camera. Um, I really don't use these features that much. It's it's okay, the capability. There's always going to be some sort of delay. It functions like a walkie-talkie, so all you do is you press and hold this, and then you speak, and then it comes out on the other side, uh, but you could also listen as well. Um, you also then have the ability to take a snapshot, so I can actually take a snapshot, and it's basically um, captured uh, what it sees at that moment. You can also then record. So I can actually say I want to start recording uh, what is uh, going on in that area. Um, or I can turn that off. All right, so um, right now I'm in viewing mode, not in recording mode. Um, you also have the ability to enable and disable. There's some other features here that I'm not using that I don't subscribe to. But things that you could do, for example, is I'll turn on that uh, the, the IR blaster so that you can actually see the infrared so you can actually see what's going on in night mode. So I'm going to turn that on and so you can see right now I have it, it's closed. You can have it in auto but I'm going to open it up so you can see the difference in the room. So now what we're seeing is the room, even though the room isn't completely dark, what you're seeing is the infrared type or, or night mode and you can see that certain things uh, come out even though it's not complete black but you saw how dark the room was um, when I uh, showed you that other video. So we're going to close that so we can go back and it will take a couple seconds for the camera uh, to adjust you know to go back to its normal settings but once again now we're back into that mode. Uh, you do have the ability to um, modify how much of your HD or the quality of the stream. Uh, you do this if you find that this, the stream itself isn't um, smooth. So we'll close that. And then you have the ability to, you know, really rotate and, and change the, the angle uh, or the, the, you know, the, the rotation of the camera based on um, how you have this mounted, especially if you're mounting it upside down. You don't want to see things upside down, so you can actually do that kind of rotation. So all in all, I'd say, you know, looking at the quality that you see here, let me bring this down a little bit again. Uh, looking at the quality that you see here, I think that the, the camera does a really decent job of 
uh, of showing uh, what it sees. Now, there are a couple things that could be limited to the software uh, that I see lacking in this camera. Uh, it doesn't have the ability to pinch and zoom, and again, that may be software-wise. You notice I'm doing this, nothing happens. Um, it doesn't have, while it has motion detection, it doesn't have motion detection by zones. Again, that could be a limitation of the software, not the camera itself. Uh, but that's something that I noticed as well. Uh, but for the price point, it's good. It's You can see the kind of quality that we're getting. Um, and I find that it, it does fit into the style of the cameras that you're seeing today, that lollipop style camera. Um, as you see here, if we go back to, uh, for those of you who may have forgotten what it looked like, if you go back here, you know, I call this the lollipop style. Uh, it is um, very lightweight, very flexible. It has those points that it can actually shift. And it's giving you um, this kind of quality that you see here. Uh, the software itself is the area where I find that there is the biggest um, area of uh, potential improvement. Uh, the website, um, while the website is pretty standard when it comes to some of the features, I really didn't go into the website's functionality as uh, I find most people, including myself, access your cameras through your phone as opposed to going through the website, but the website does give you similar features. As a matter of fact, I feel a little bit more features that you can uh, check out on your own. So uh, that's our review of the Foscam C1 uh, wireless uh, IP camera. I think that for those of you who are looking for a camera that is going to give you the flexibility uh, to be software agnostic, to be able to use other software packages, and for something that has onboard recording via that uh, micro SD card. And by the way, if you wanted to see uh, what's in that uh, in that card or um, on board, you could actually go into um, your camera itself. I'm trying to find, where was it that I saw those settings? Here it goes. This is showing you what's been recorded, and you can see um, what's uh, what's recorded and what's stored, um, and then play them back at any time. So you can see that I'm doing that right here. So uh, camera gives you some good flexibility. Uh, it does uh, not seem to have some of the features that I've seen with some other cameras, but it could be software-based or software, fo need a software update or need from the actual application. Uh, with that, um, that concludes this review. If you have any comments or questions about this product, please leave it on the YouTube channel. I want to thank Foscam for making this product available for us to review on this channel. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.